Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to learn a bit more about the map method and then we'll work with the real outcome of the response. Okay, so we are, we know that when we are hitting any of the endpoint in the Jira API, right? So for example, get all issue type. Okay, so if I hit this particular request, okay, then in the response, if I go ahead and check, you will see that the values that are there is basically the array okay so square bracket all the objects within the array and now we will use the map method okay that we have just learned in the previous video and fetch the only ids of the task or the name out of this whole thing right so basically out of this whole response how do i quickly know how many issue types are there right what are all the names of those issues what are all the ids of those issues okay so that's where map method will be really helpful in advanced api test automation okay so let's quickly correlate all of it and use that map method here okay so i'll use this same call basically so this is this is the get issue type get all issue type okay and let's quickly copy what we have learned here okay so basically this is the this is what we have this is just a format, right? So basically on the array, so employee was the array here, right? We can directly call the map method, okay? And map method accepts a callback function, right? Three arguments basically, but callback function where, wherein we are just interested in fetching the name and IDs, okay? So let's quickly use that here. So what we'll do in the, let me comment all of this, okay? So now we know here the response okay so pm dot response dot json okay this is within postman so postman object response dot json will store whatever response we are getting in the response as a javascript object and then that will be basically because this is an array right this is json this is an array so we can go ahead and iterate through so we can also use the different javascript methods and we can also use map that we have learned previously okay so i can simply directly go ahead and i can say okay sorry i can say response okay response dot map okay and you'll see that now this map will accept a callback function right now if i simply say okay before that let me just say let me just log it okay so i just want to show you that the response is actually an array okay so i can simply say okay console dot log and just log the response nothing else just just the whole response whatever response you are we are getting okay just we want to see that it's actually an array so i'm just logging it on the console so if i open the console clear it send it again you will see it's a this is the response right so it is array with 11 elements there right from 0 to 10 so now we know that this is an array okay so now we can call the map method there so i can say response dot map and have a callback function there okay so now if say for example same same logic same exactly same thing what we learned here let me copy that okay so here we did we said okay just give me the value okay so what we did here i'll just comment this out so it doesn't interfere so there was an employee array okay and then we used a map method on that array and we said okay give me the value out of the employee okay give me or map a value from the array employee where value is department or the employee employee value is department okay read we can read like that so here what we are saying is okay map a value from the response okay so we, we what value we are say for example we are looking for the name okay map the naming value or we just want to fetch the name task okay or the name of all these issues that are being returned here so i can say okay map a value from and then short form so the array uh, sorry the arrow function right and then we'll say okay map the value and where does does this in which level this name exists right so basically below this object so we have this self it, which is at same level as id description etc right so it is at the same level right so basically just at the response dot name level right so i can simply say okay value dot name okay so when we say map a value out of response where value is named okay so the names will be just fetched out of this whole array which is the response okay now if i want to see okay yes it's actually 
fetching that value i can simply just log it on the console so you can see right that we are just fetching the names out of this response value the whole thing that you are getting here right the id description everything and even here if you go to the console you if you go to each of these values you are getting everything right we are just interested in looking at the task what all task types are there right so let's quickly send this and see what is the response so you'll see first is the original array okay and the next one is with 11 elements within it just the names of the elements are being returned task subtask story bug epic right so now we know okay there are these tasks we simply with just a very minimal effort we don't have to go ahead and keep checking okay what is at the seventh or what is at sixth and etc we can simply see okay these are the supported task types in this particular project right and this this is this makes your validation verification very easy as well right now we have this array we can go ahead and check that yes all of these issue types are supported right so this just this single line here has helped us to fetch those names okay now if i just want to fetch the ids okay so i can say value dot id instead of name right and then send and you'll see now the next time ids are being printed okay in the first one names and the ids all the project ids or the task ids are printed right the issue id sorry so all the issue ids so now we will be using in the upcoming video we'll be using the map method okay so now we know how we are going to use the map method with the real api okay to fetch any of the value that you want within the within the response right within the response now you can play around with this method and fetch any of the values right and the more you will practice the more better you will become overall so i'll highly recommend go ahead and practice whatever you are learning in these videos and fetch these values right and then in the next video we will try to stitch everything together and then we'll understand that say for example a particular value is, a, is not at particular index i want to search it by a particular name how we are going to use different technique to achieve those tasks and make our automation scripts more robust okay so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching